Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're at over on Kiasma's account to try and answer the question of which hero should you go for first from the Challenger store between Aziz and Athalia. Hopefully we can give you an answer that will give you enough information that lets you choose for yourself. But basic summary, there is no real horrible option out of the two of them. So let's get into the video. So first up, a couple things that I want to mention at the start of this video uh, relating to basically the summoning of heroes and the challenger store. Um, the challenger store for most people, um, until you have these guys ascended, like I would only go for Athalia or Aziz. The rest of the heroes, you can just you can get them better from faction scrolls, normal scrolls. You can put them on the wish list. There's just much higher rates of eventually getting these guys. Obviously, if you're like absolutely desperate for your last copy of like an Iron to get him ascended and you've been waiting for months, like go for it. But in general, you really want to stick to these two from the Challenger store, even though they are more expensive. The second thing I want to say is for the Stargaze, I would not recommend stargazing for either of those two, the Athalia or the Aziz. Uh, from, from the Stargazer, they're just, eventually you will get them, so I'd stick to that. Um, for the first p hero you stargaze for, I'd recommend Taylene or the Twins. Those are the two main staples to go for. I just wanted to get that out of the way before we talk about it. Um, I just... I just don't see the value in stargazing for them early on when you could go and get go ahead and get a better hero. So that is that. Now let's take a look at the two heroes and then we'll go through it. So if I go over here, where is she? Okay, so Athalia. Now Athalia, when we look at the skills, she's really nice. She can be used early game as well at like at elite because she has this ability which is going to knock down an enemy at the start of the battle and then she's got this one which is a kick that she cycles straight into out of the knockdown so it's like a five to seven second lockout at the start of every battle which is really really nice that's the main use you're going to get out of her at like at low ascension and stuff like that she's not going to do too much damage but once you do get her to ascend it she's going to do some really nice damage with those abilities also her ultimate is going to do some really big single target and multi-target damage as long as it hits the heroes multiple times um, but the thing, the kind of downside to Athalia is, it, it's like it's a plus side and a downside. So her signature item is really fantastic at level 30. Um, it's enemies that attack Athalia will begin to bleed out for two seconds. Um, it can't be stacked. Enemies will lose health equal to 70% of their attack rating per second, and their health recovery rate will be decreased by 70%. So basically, if anyone's attacking her, they're just going to keep bleeding and losing recovery rate, which is huge. Um, but the bad side to that is means if you're going to go for Thalia, you've really got to go full investment into her and get her to level 30 signature item, which sometimes you may not want to do her like you, there are better signature items out there it's just that for her to opt to, to work at her full functionality she really needs the maxed out signature item so that is the downside to athalia now we'll have a quick look at aziz let's jump into it so aziz skills um basically his main thing is this he's too passive so this one when he uses um when he uses his ultimate then the enemies can't use their ultimate for three seconds but then with skill ups when any of his allies use their ultimate enemies cannot use their ultimate for two seconds so it's basically a big lockout that he can do um and then he's got this passive which gives you more energy recovery also he has this really nice mind control ability where he mind controls the enemy furthest away from him which can come in really clutch i've used him at low ascension on like very late uh, like chapter 25 to just mind control an enemy at the other side and drag them in so very very usable skill that as well but he's basically about this passive to lock out enemies and keep increasing energy of your teammates um for him his signature item this is what's good about him as well is his signature item is nice to have maxed however it's not necessary he still works very very well at just a base signature item, whereas Athalia is going to need that maxed out signature item. So that's the basic summary of the heroes. Now I just wanted to jump over and have a look at them in action and the kind of comps that you will be using. Uh, I don't really want to mess up mess up Kiasma's. Uh, he's been doing some progress there, so I don't want to mess him up there. We might go into the tower and have a play around. So this is basically the team that um, Aziz is going to shine in. It's basically you've got Aziz for the energy recovery. You've got Rowan for energy recovery. You've got 
uh, the twins for energy recovery, and you've also got Mahira for energy recovery. There's just a lot of it, and then you got the tailing for damage. This is like the end game comp, um, but it's basically you can also sub in a Rosaline sometimes in these and make it work as well. But the thing about this is the whole idea is, and this is where Ziz, in my opinion, is better at end game um, than the others, uh, than Athalia, because he just has this such great synergy. And Aziz is the kind of hero that the more heroes they get introduced into the game, um, the, the, basically the better it gets. Cause any, anything that comes into the game that has some sort of energy recovery, he is going to be just keep getting better cause he's going to have more options to work with. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we got, we got absolutely trash bag there, which is less than optimal but you know these things happen let's just try and let's try and swap this up and see if we can get something to happen i don't think we can this is a really tough stage they've got the gwyneth and they've got two knockbacks in there um and the twins just die instantly every time which kind of sucks but um but yeah the idea is when you use your when anyone uses their ultimate you can see the flame flame on the enemy's head which basically means they're not going to be able to ultimate until it disappears um and you can just interrupt and lock out a lot like that but unfortunately we're gonna die again. But that is Aziz, basically end game. He's an absolute beast for locking out enemies. Uh, can be used sometimes with his mind control on like low ascensions, but let's go over and take a look at Athalia. And Athalia, the other thing that's good about Athalia is she's very, very splashable hero. Actually, let's just leave the team the same. So this is actually a perfect example to use Athalia. So she's a very splashable hero. So any team that has one enemy that you really need to lock out, she's fantastic for. For instance, this one, uh, we can put her here to lock out the Gwyneth damage. You can use her against a Pharrell or an Arden to lock out them. And she becomes really good for that. And she doesn't have to be high ascension to get that initial lockout that you're really looking for, which is the good side to her. So they each have their pros and cons in different types of teams. Um, but in general, end game, I feel like Aziz holds it a bit more than Athalia. Um, because you can always achieve the same thing that Athalia does with uh, Nara as well. And she's one of the better Greyborns, so she is one that you're going to kind of look towards. But um, we're going to wipe here, but the, you, you get the idea. That's what I was trying to demonstrate is that Athalia is very splashable indeed. So with that demonstration out of the way, I wanted to jump over to my Celestial Hypergene account, which, you know, it's about at a 200-ish dollar spend on the account. Show you where I'm at and talk about it, because like I said, Athalia is better for that early mid game, um, but when you get towards end game, I feel like Aziz is just in general better, especially for whales. Now, free to play players, you might get more bang out of Athalia. This is a Celestial Hypergen account, so I'm building towards the Aziz team. But for free to play players, you may want to go Athalia. I still like Aziz in, in general. I just, I just really, I find him to be better and I find that he grows better with the game. Um, that's just my opinion. But I want to show you where I'm at here. So I'm at, remember, about a $200 spend. I'm at chapter 26. Um, and if we look at my heroes, I've bought Aziz every single time from the shop and he's only at legendary with another copy. So he's almost at legendary plus. But the, basically what I'm trying to portray here is you're not gonna get these guys to mythic or ascended unless you have really, really good RNG on summons. Um, you're not gonna get them up there until you're at the late to end game stage. And like I said, in my opinion, Aziz is the better. Ju only just two, only just but better for late to end game. So you're not really going to get them. You're not going to get your Athalia to like mythic and have her carry your team in the early to mid game. Uh, it's going to take you until end game before you get there. And that is why I would personally target the Aziz um, as the first option from the shop. But like I said, free to play, if you're not making it a team that's viable with Aziz, it may be a better option to go for that Athalia. Um, basically, Aziz for the lockout combo and just in general, he can be used at a high ascension in different teams for the energy recovery, just for that lockout of certain stages and for that mind control. And then Athalia is completely splashable and she can be used in just about just about any team. If there's one enemy that really annoys you, she's splashable, she can go in there. She can deal with them if she, once you get her ascended, she can deal some nice damage too. Um, the other thing is they're both pretty decent in PvP as well. Um, Athalia's damage obviously is gonna do a lot better in PvP than it does in campaign because you're fighting heroes of a similar level, not the like power level campaign heroes. But overall, basic recap summary. 
uh, is my opinion, I like a Ziz a bit more. You're not gonna really get them ascended until late to end game anyway. Um, but Athalia is still nice, a splashable hero that anyone can use, and you can get good use out of it as soon as you get that first copy and as you progress through the game. So up to you guys, that's my feels. Um, ooh, we gotta do the giveaway thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick summon. If it's purple, it becomes a $20 giveaway video. Rip, better luck next time. But that is going to be it for this one, guys. Let me know your thoughts about Athalia versus Ziz. Like I said, it's very, very close. I don't feel like there is a wrong option. It's just they're very niche, and it comes down to the kind of teams you're looking at building on your account. So that is going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.